cue the intro music. <laughs> Shady Grove, my little love. Oh, Shady Grove, my darling. Shady Grove, my little love. I'm going back to Harlem. So our internet connection is working really poorly. Brianna has a great video that she shot yesterday. It's uploading right now. And it's on why we're getting rid of some of our chickens. But right now, I'm going to open this box. It's the Homestead box. It was sent to us by a company in Georgia. Now, we didn't pay for it. They sent it to us for free. We said we might do a review on it. So here we are, opening it up. It's a little intriguing. I don't know what's in this box. I know what's on top because I just pulled the packing paper out. The first item in here, it looks like a chicken water base designed for uh, a mason jar to screw onto. So that's cool. Chicken, water. Next thing we've got is <clears throat> Monterey horticultural oil controls aphids, mites, scales, white flies, and other soft-bodied insects. It is organic listed mineral oil. Well that's cool. I think I might need that for my apple trees, but I'll have to read more about it first. So I'm going to keep going here. Monterey BT. I definitely need this for my apple trees. This is actually awesome because the caterpillars right now are on the apple trees and they're munching on the leaves. The trees are fine, but BT is actually um, a bacteria-based um, product and the bacteria kills caterpillars. So it's fairly safe. Um, it is organic listed and it's great for caterpillar control. So I need that. That's awesome. I have a ladybug attractant. Monterey advanced system for increasing beneficial insects. That's cool. I wonder how that works. It looks like it's like a little scent thing that you can hang up, say, on your roses or whatnot. Well, that's really neat. There's that is. The next thing we've got in here is American Meadows wildflower. One quarter pound of wildflower. And included in here are... Baskets of gold, bishop's flower, dill, uh, rock crest, Siberian wallflower, lance leaf, coreopsis, cilantro. There's a whole bunch of them with sewing instructions. That's really neat. Two books The Gardener's Guide to Plant Diseases, which I've never seen before, but that looks great. And The Gardener's Bug Book. This is awesome. That's so cool. So neither one of those do I have. I don't have it really an equivalent of those either. Next we have the Gardener's Workshop Cut Flower Seeds that Flower Farmers Grow. These are mixed zinnias. And then these are um, Oklahoma zinnias. That's cool. And next, bicarb old-fashioned fungicide. Potassium bicarbonate soluble powder. This is organic listed and it's a fungicide. I'll have to read more about it. Um, but there's that. That's very cool. And down here we have alternative vegetable IPM recommendations. And this is a cool little thingamabobber. So what you do, let's go down to garden pest of, let's say, um, let's go down to the cutworm. And then down here, when you see cut burn, cutworm, it says systems-based practice, which is vigorously growing plant varieties, time planting, mechanical and physical tactics, which is plant collars for small plants, floating row covers, and then um, biorational insecticides, and then has a biorational insecticide listed. That's really cool. I've never seen that. Who makes this? The Alabama Cooperative Extension System. I like that. I'm going to be taking a closer look at that. There's that. And then here we have, looks like a seed catalog for the gardenersworkshop.com. And then in here is a big box, and I'm not quite sure what's in here. And we're going to open it up right now. I don't have a knife, but I have a pin, so.
So we really appreciate the folks at the Homestead Box sending us this box. We'll definitely use some of it. Oh my goodness. A sprayer. That's actually really cool. And I've been meaning to get one of these because um, I need to spray my apple trees with uh, neem oil and bacterial uh, and fish emulsion based blend, which I'll show you all in another video. But I don't have a sprayer. This one's plenty big to do my apple trees. And we can also spray the BT on the trees to control those uh, little caterpillars. So that's the last thing in the homestead box. You know, just to like to do an offhand review, I kind of wish there was like a guide to like, what is the homestead box? What are all these items? Why would I need these items, not other items? I'm gonna def definitely check out the company and I'll put a link to their website in our uh, description down here. You know what's in this box. I'm guessing they have other products and other boxes. Um, but that's it for today's video. So this is a, a neat product um, and I'm gonna use immediately at least uh, three of these things. So thanks for joining us and we'll see you in tomorrow's video. Check out our other video today, it's gonna be really great.